guys, what is up? It is Rosa and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing another budget with me video. We are going to be going through all of May today and I'm very excited to just be going through May. The last year has been nuts so I feel like I have been like kind of recording these videos all the time but it has been four weeks so we are going to come back and look through the budget. If you don't know I do budgeted videos every single month usually towards the beginning of the next month and it is a little bit late but it's okay. So we're just going to go in here and get started. If you don't know I use the Erin Condra Deluxe budget. Well it's not a budget planner. I just called it a budget planner but it's the Erin Condra Deluxe monthly planner and I think this is like the perfect planner to do budgeting in because it gives you a lot of different things you can do so all right guys so these are all of our sinking funds that we were able to go ahead and save up for i'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit and the stickers that i use were from my girl romina she has a sticker shop so i buy a, a, most of my functioning stickers from her so this was the last month that i had seven categories this time I only have six categories, I'm pretty sure, for sinking funds, so I actually shuffled some stuff around. But in total, I was able to save $3,266.63 for voluntary because that is our car fund. We are saving up for a new car to get in Chris at Christmas time, so we're saving up for that. The next total is renter's insurance. That is our insurance that we pay for rent and we just paid it off, so we're back at zero for June, but we saved up $30 for that. Richard's auto insurance is due every single uh, quarter, so four times a year, I think, or no, every six months, sorry, every six months he owes. So right now we've saved up $197. My LLC, we saved up $150, that's for me to have a license to sell. Um, we have our Walt Disney World fund that we were able to save up $2,521.14. And then Epidemic Sound, we were able to save up $45.14. I am skipping vidIQ because I no longer have vidIQ, so we don't have to save for that anymore. And then down here is where I just do my transaction log. That just shows you guys if I've taken anything out. And the only thing I've taken out is renter's insurance, but I, we, I don't really count that, really, to be quite honest. I just have that for decoration and we are going to go through our May spread. So this is what the May spread looked like. I loved it. I thought it was so pretty, so fun and it was, I love to do this kind of stuff um, when it's like pretty like this because I'll be more inclined to budget and look at my budget. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go through every single day, the 1st through the 30, 30th, oh sorry, 31st and we're gonna go through what I spent. So let's just go ahead and get started with that. I have five categories that I monitor. I have grocery, gas, entertainment, eating out, and unbudgeted. So on the first, it was payday, and I spent $13.64 on Amazon. On the second, um, we spent $6.57 on Amazon. On the third, we went to Little Luca's, and we spent $27.64, that is a sandwich shop. I did actually lose five pounds in the month of May, but I gained it back the last week um, of June because I've just been eating way too many carbs recently, so I'm back on the keto track for this week. But yeah, I like, gained it back, I was so pissed. Uh, anyway, so on the fourth, we spent $15.35 on Amazon. That we spent five dollars and 99 cents on amazon i was getting a lot of little things because we are getting a kitten so i've been getting like a lot of random things here and there on the sixth it was a no spend on the seventh i bought a game to play on origin i don't remember what game it was but i think it might have been brave i'm not 100 percent sure but i did end up playing that and then i made a couple purchases on amazon on the eighth i went to the noodle shop which was a place that I like to go to sometimes for lunch at work and then I also spent $32.91 on Amazon. On the 9th I spent $45.03 on Amazon. Like I said I'm an Amazon crazy person. Then on the 10th we spent $30 on Amazon and then we went grocery shopping that we spent $224 and then Carl's Jr. we spent $20.67. On the 11th um, I spent $65.81 on Amazon. Another $60 purchase on Amazon for the 12th. The 13th, we spent another $53.68 on Amazon. 
And then I bought some sticker. No, I bought some stuff. So I am currently getting a little bit of a jewelry thing happening for my Poshmark closet. So I have been kind of gathering some things. I'm still waiting for like a ton of stuff to arrive, but I started kind of purchasing around and I purchased some stuff on Etsy for $26.14. And then we went to Little Luca's that day, $30.46 we spent. Then on the 15th, I spent $21.16 on Wendy's for Richard and myself. Um, and then Saturday, I spent $9.99 on Amazon. I think I bought My Cat From Hell. I was, I'm watching seasons of My Cat From Hell just so I can learn a lot about cats. When we get our cat, like I won't be completely in the dark because I don't know how to take care of anything other than myself and a guinea pig. So next on the 17th was a no spend day. On the 18th, I bought another game for $20 and then I bought stuff off Etsy. I think I bought stickers off of Etsy for $21.73. Had a no spend day on the 19th, a no spend day on the 20th. And then on the 21st, I spent $13.95 on gas. Oh, sorry, $13.95 on Amazon. Gas was $41.03. DoorDash, I DoorDashed for $21.94. Um, I got another game off of Valve, which is Steam, for $19.99. And then I spent some money on Etsy for stickers. Then we ended up getting our Disney um, Flex Passes. So if you don't know, Disney has a Flex Pass system where basically you have to reserve time to go to Disneyland. And since we live eight hours, basically like six and a half hours to seven hours away from Disneyland, um, it works best for us because we anyways have to, you know, plan to go. We can't just go whenever. So that was the best pass for us. So we ended up putting a down payment of $358 on our passes and then we're going to start spending $99 a month paying off our passes. Um, but obviously you don't use your pass until your first day there. So we're not going to be going until September. So we have some time to get our, to start paying off our card. All right, guys. So we were on the 23rd on the 23rd I spent, which is right here. I spent $38 and 48 cents or 49 cents on a game. And I bought a few things off of Etsy. Then on the 24th was a no spend day. On the 25th, I spent $208.31 on Chewy. Um, I was just getting a bunch of cat stuff, so that's that. Then I bought a couple more things from the cat stuff, and then Amazon. And on the 27th, we spent $21.01 $21 on Etsy. I did buy DoorDash for $23.33. Amazon was $15.24. Then on the 28th, I got some food from the Thakaria next to our work. I bought Hitch Switch. It's a program that we're using to change my name. I'll let you guys know if it's good, if it's not good. Bought some stuff at Chewy. I did get a return with Chewy too, actually. I ended up buying a dog crate instead of a cat crate and a larger dog crate. So I'm going to give it to my friend Lena. Um, she might be able to use it for her pup Juno. Um, so then we went to grocery shopping, $133.32. On the 30th, we spent $33.29, and on actually the 31st then, we didn't buy Little Lucas twice, we only bought it once, so it was a no spend day on the 31st. So that was everything that we spent. Okay guys, so this is our budget. This is basically what I do my bills every single time. So these are all my bills. I've gone through them millions of times. You can look through our bills at, at right now, just because it's really no big deal. It's just a list of bills that we have. Then we have our debt avalanche. So in the beginning of the month, we were at $621.08 for the Disney card. We paid that off real quick. For my Capital One card, I was at $1,925.25. And then I made the payment of $577.40. School was $18,539.34. I paid $200 for that. Then finally we had Richard savings, which I ended up paying him. This was our Vegas trip. So I just ended up paying him the rest and now we're out of debt for our Vegas trip. All right guys, so here we are on our weekly check-in. So the weekly check-in is something I do every single week, but I tell you guys the totals at the end. So this is tallied up from our calendar. So I'll let you know our totals and everything like that. So the first week we spent $69.21 on groceries. We paid zero for gas. $14.99 for entertainment, $27.64 for eating out, and zero for unbudgeted. The next week, which was the 8th through the 14th of May, we spent $515.52 on groceries, $26.14 on entertainment, and $63.13 on eating out. 
Next was the 15th through the 21st. We spent nine, oh, you can't even see. We spent $9.99 on groceries, $41.03 on gas, $111.80 on entertainment, and $43.10 eating out. Nothing for a budget in. And then the final week, we spent $561.41 on groceries, zero on gas, $95.64 on entertainment, $37.84 eating out, and unbudgeted was $99 for Hitch Switch. So the first week, we spent a total of $165.61, which was really, really good for us. We like to keep it under $400 a week. That's, that's the goal. The next week was week two, and we spent a total of $610.79. The third week, we spent $205.92. The fourth week, we spent $793.89. And now I'm going to go ahead and add all of that together to add it to our total for... Uh, May and then we're gonna be able to get all that shiznit done. Yarramin. My bad. I never did week five. That's annoying. That's why. Okay, clear. So we're actually gonna go ahead and do week five real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I just finished doing week five. So in total, week five was forty-one, forty-three plus forty-three, thirteen equals eighty-four. 56. Now we're going to tally all of the totals together. So we spent a total of eight, $1,860.67. So we went over budget $860, which I don't know if this is better or worse than May so or worse than June or April. Sorry. So let me check April numbers real quick. We did a little bit better than April. Um, April numbers, our results were $2,031.47. This month was $1,860.67. So that's great. So we are going a little bit lower than normal. But yeah, so that was basically the entire budget. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will give you a slight sneak peek on what June looks like so you guys can see june but that is a sneak peek of june it's gonna be such a great spread i can't wait for you guys to see it but that was everything for today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed it make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't join the briar patch fan band where we have fun here all the time uh, 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 i'm and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye yo what's up i'm the mad hatter i'll pour you tea please don't let it spread out it really matter Cause I'm the mad head <laughs>